welcome to the online tour of the Main Story Gallery. I will be presenting to you the Sermon on the Mount created by artist Karl Bloch. Born in 1834 in Copenhagen, Denmark to parents Jorgensen Peter and Emily Urilke Bloch. Bloch's parents wanted their son to enter into a respectful profession, but Bloch's only interests were in drawing and painting, and the idea of becoming an artist consumed him. In 1855, Bloch joined the Royal Danish Academy of Art, where on August 1st of 1859 he received the travel grant, which he used to travel to Holland, France, and Italy with his fr fellow artist Anton Dorf. Today, some have recognized Karl Bloch as perhaps the greatest artist to ever interpret the life and death of Christ. Contemporary artists working with this difficult subject pay tribute to the old master. Now, more than a hundred years after Karl Bloch's death, young artists from all over the world attempting to illustrate the life and death of Christ make pilgrimage to Fredericksburg Castle to study the great master. Karl Bloch died of cancer on February 22, 1890. His death came as an abrupt blow to the artist's world. The Sermon on the Mount is an art piece that is part of the King's Prayer Chamber collection, which is what Bloch considered to be eight of his best pieces. It currently exhibits in the Museum of National History at Friedrichsburg's Castle, Denmark. The painting is inspired by the sermon that delivers the essence of the teachings of Jesus Christ, through which the New Testament and the whole Bible become clear. Jesus Christ's Sermon on the Mount was meant to be an honest, frank, direct, and open conversation. Christ's teaching was new, but it did not contradict what the prophets and the law taught. The words of Christ were understandable but mysterious, encouraging, and challenging. Bloch's inclusion of various believers who gathered to hear Jesus' words allow us to view this religion through a contemporary lens. The humble and poor look on in adoration, while others with hand clasped in hope kneel before Christ. Their daily tasks are forgotten as they lay aside their water gourds, their baskets and their staffs. Other people listen with skepticism. The bearded man behind Christ is thought to be a self-portrait of Bloch himself. For over a hundred years, viewers have been looking at Karl Heinrich Bloch's Sermon on the Mount, but the best way to understand its meaning is to read the Sermon on the Mount in the Bible. Each person chooses how they perceive the word of Jesus. As you examine this piece of artwork, there are a few questions that you could ask for yourself. How do you perceive the words of Christ? Can you compare yourself to anyone in this picture? The hopeful man, the adoring crowd, the skeptic, and how would you be portrayed if you were listening to Christ preaching on the Sermon on the Mount?